What's up guys, this is Alex here from 814 EDC. Thank you so much for stopping back in to check out this video and checking out the channel. Uh, today I just wanted to go over and review the SOG Terminus XR. A little bit about this knife. I bought this knife almost a year ago uh, around this time. Uh, it's kind of, I always forget that, you know, we're already halfway done with February in 2021. It's crazy how much time flies nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I bought this I think middle of April last year. Um, it was when we were stuck at home during quarantine due to COVID. I was watching a ton of videos on knives and I saw this model kept popping up. Uh, so I finally just decided to buy it, you know, for 50 bucks I figured. There's a lot of good things I thought about it, like when I bought it and you know, those, those stand true today. I think there's a lot of good things about this knife. I think it's worth the 50 or 55 bucks, how, how whatever it is now. Um, and I all I have is really good things to say about it. So starting off with materials, we're getting um, black G10, which is really nice. Um, it's not like super grippy, but it's not like slick. It's very comfortable, very you know easy to handle for a long period of time. Um, this knife also comes in um, a crimson, like maroonish crimson, crimson, excuse me, um, scale, and a like OD green forest green scale, and those come with satin blades also in D2. Um, there's also, for like a 30 or $40 uh, price increase, it comes with like a, like carbon fiber scales and S35 VM blade, which is also a good value. I've never handled it, but I mean, for like 85 bucks for those type of materials, I think that's a good value too. And then recently, um, when I saw SOG put out like their new product listing and stuff like that, I think they did some sort of version of these. It's like lightweight, I don't know what the blade material is or anything else like that. I just happened to see it real quick. So I think there's a couple new versions of this coming out as well. Um, but steel, you're getting uh, SOG Cryo D2, which I believe Cryo is the type of coating that they put on these blades. Um, it's held up pretty good so far. I haven't put it to like hard, hard use, but I have used this at work a couple times and outdoors. Um, and it's pretty good, held up pretty good so far. No real scratches or real marks or anything like that. Easy to clean up. Um, you're getting a nice drop point or clip point style blade, very usable, very, uh, you know, has a nice belly to it. Uh, it's decently thin behind the edge, not like amazing, but it's pretty good. Uh, you're getting black G10 backspacer, and then you're getting a loop over style deep carry pot clip. I don't know if you're going to pick that up or not. There we go. Uh, and it's branded SOG, which I don't love, uh, the pocket clip there's pros and cons to it which I'll hit on later but um, and you're getting three methods of deployment you're getting uh, two dual thumb studs you're getting a flipper tab and then you're getting um, SOG's version of the access lock by Benchmade which they're uh, referring to as the XR lock so that brings me to action and action on this knife is is quite good um, I think I think with, you know, there's really five ways to deploy this knife. Um, you're getting, you know, the flip with the flipper tab, which I found to be very, if you're, you're light switching it, it's good. If you're push buttoning it, it kind of just like limps out. Um, so that's not like amazing, but you know, every time I go to pull out my pocket and I use the flipper, I, you know, I hit it pretty hard. So it, it deploys relatively easily every time for me um, and I feel like most people do that so I don't really you like I've heard uh, Kevin over at Lefty EDC talking about his detent test um, when you're like push butting it and like you, you have to almost get it to fail but like in the midst of like oh I need to use my knife or something you're just gonna pull it out and you're gonna hit the flipper and it's gonna come right out this knife has no issues with that so you have the flipper um, which is one way to open this knife you have the dual thumb studs so really you can thumb roll it out, which is two, that's the second way. You can thumb flick it, which is the third. You can middle finger flick, the fourth. And then with the XR lock, you can give it some wrist and it'll come right open. So really there's five ways to um, open this knife, which I think adds to the value very well. And I think that's a huge shining point of this knife. Still haven't fixed my computer from going into like sleep mode. So I need to fix that sometime. So I'm not leaning forward in the camera and you guys are thinking, oh, what's he doing now? Getting close to the camera. 
Um, and so this knife is on bearings. So like deployment, all four of those ways is nice and snappy. Like you're getting a good like smack and thack, thwack of the knife, of the blade locking into place. And then to uh, closing, I haven't only handled two Benchmades. I had a bug out and I used to have a mini grip that I sold not too long ago. So I've only handled two and this knife makes the only other knife that I've handled with an XR lock or another Axis style lock. But I think this, I mean, it's very smooth. Like, I've, I mean, it's obviously it's broken in. It's, I've had it for a while and I've carried it and flicked it a lot. Um, but I just recently took it apart because the blade was getting a little bit loose. So I took it apart, cleaned it all up, put some lube in it. I sharpened the blade on my work sharp sharpener and I um, put some Loctite in the pivot and there's no blade play really to speak of at all, but it's just, it's still drop shiny. Like, I mean, I don't know even moving my hand without it because it's straight up now, but if I move it a little bit, to, I mean, it just, it just drops home. It's super fun and super, you know, that's what I'm looking for. I'm having a brain fart, but it's super um, rewarding, I guess. Like when you're, I mean, if you're just licking it and playing with it, like it, it drops shut almost every single time that you have it past, the, it's not a 90 degree angle. I mean, it just hits home and it's it's very satisfying. That's what I'm looking for, satisfying. Um, so action, again, for the price point, I think is a very good thing for this knife. Um, so that leads me to ergos and ergonomics for this knife. Um, you know, overall, you're dealing with a very neutral handle shape. Um, you have a nice, like, swedge or, you know, opening here that um, when I get in the saber grip, my pointer finger rests on. And I can get all four fingers on this knife. Um, and it's very comfortable. You know, there's, it's, it's a pretty neutral shape, like I said. There's no really big hot spots. The only hot spot that I can really say about is the pocket clip. But for how, like, low the pocket clip sits like the the sweat like the swelling of the puck clip sits almost like below the knife when I have my hand in it it sits like below maybe you guys can see that very well but it sits like below my pinky finger so really like I don't feel it that much like when I'm going to use it and stuff like that um so ergos I think are it, it's very, it's a pretty comfortable knife you know combined with this with this nice um comfortable g10 the nice ergonomic grip um, jimping, there's only jimping on top of the blade here. You only find it there and then on the flipper tab. But when you're holding it in your um, desired grip, you can't feel it at all. You're only feeling on the thumb. And it's not overly aggressive. It's kind of in the middle. It's not like you don't know it's there, but it's not like, oh, this is like eating my finger up. It's like right in the middle, which I think is like the preferred jimping for myself. Excuse me. Ugh. So yeah, the ergonomics and ergos for this knife, again, very good. And that brings me to my last, you know, point of the knife, and that is carry. Uh, it's a pretty slim knife. It's not very, you know, wide at all. Um, and like I said, the pocket clip, there's good things and there's bad things about it because I like that SOG put a deep carry clip on here, and they tried making it, like, ultra deep carry by putting it up over and into, like, the the top end of the knife. But I've had some issues with it and I've seen other people complain about it too. When you slide your pants up into here, sometimes your pocket sometimes gets like caught up in here and when you go to pull it out, it gets stuck a little bit. That doesn't happen to me often, but it definitely has occurred in the past and um, it's not always the easiest to try to like, you know, if you need your knife, like trying to cut something and you go to reach it and you're like, oh, I'm trying to fight with it. It's not like the best thing in the world, um, which gets kind of annoying. But overall, like like I said, I'm, I'm happy that Sog at least put a deep carry clip on here as compared to something that has the knife sticking up out of your pocket. Um, and I guess most of the time it does carry well because it sits super deep carry or it sits super deep into the pocket. It kind of just disappears into the pocket. And with how thin it is, it, it carries very well. So, like I said, there's pros and there's cons of the pocket clip, but overall, it's, it's good. Um, it's not the best pocket clip ever made, but it's definitely better than having 
like some of the knives sticking up out of the pocket. I'll take that any day of the week. So carry is, again, good. Now all those points lead me to my sixth thing that I'm going to talk about, and that is price point. I bought this knife for $55 and some change, um, $55 and some change off of SOG's website directly. I bought it directly from SOG because they were the only site and retailer that, was, that I saw that had the black on black in stock. A lot of the other main retailers just had the crimson and the OD, which is nice. But once I saw the black on black, I thought that it looked the best. So I was able to find it on SOG's website. And for $55, I think you're getting a lot of knife. You're getting a lot of good things and a lot of good points for your money. I mean, starting just starting out with materials, you're getting a coated D2 blade, which if you see my past videos, you know that I like D2 a decent amount. I think it's a good budget steal for the 50-ish dollar price range. Um, coated usually means it'll last a little bit longer and it won't be as susceptible to rust because there's something already on the blade. You're getting some nice G10. Um, you know, like I said, it's smooth. It's very comfortable to use. And you're getting a deep carry pocket clip. It might not be the best deep carry pocket clip in the world or a knife has ever seen, but nonetheless, it's still a deep carry pocket clip. And then you're getting three methods of deployment, which equal out to five ways to deploy the knife or the blade. And really, for 50 bucks, I don't think that you see that very often. Like, sometimes you either have a flipper tab or you have like a a thumb stud and a flipper tab duo or like a thumb stud only knife or a flipper and like uh, like a hole in the blade for like thumb flicking and middle finger flicking or you just have the XR lock with maybe a hole or just the XR lock like I really can't think of another knife off the top of my head that has all three of these form factors put into one knife and I think that that is the biggest shining point the fact that you're getting a flipper tab, you're getting my left hand, you're getting an XR axis style lock, and you're getting thumb studs, all for 55 bucks. Like I think that is a really really good deal. Another thing that I thought of was maybe you're getting into knives and you really like some of the Benchmade models and you want to try out an access lock, but you're kind of like iffy on spending, you know, the 150 200 bucks on a Benchmade because Benchmades are pretty expensive. You see this, and you see that it has not an access lock, but something very similar to it. I think that this would be a great knife to get because you're still getting good materials. You're not getting like a junk steel or junk handles or like a junk pot clip. You're getting all good materials for it at a much less, much like lesser and smaller price point than a Benchmade. And you could get this and try it out and, you know, think and say, okay, I do like the Benchmade. I'm going to go and get it. Or you decide you don't like it you're not in for 150, 200 bucks into a Benchmade. You're only in 50 and you can probably get away with not using the access slot lock. Well, no, I take that back. You do have to use it to close the knife. But there's enough other things on this knife that you'd be able to use it and accept the fact that you have an access style lock on here because you have the thumb studs and the flipper tab. And I just, I think it's a good value. Um, I think you're getting a lot, a lot, a lot of good things for your dollar and I just I would recommend this knife to any you know person just starting out to collect knives or um, you know wanting to add a little bit of variation to their collection it served me very well and I'm, I'm glad I got to experience it um, I think there's a couple reviews this one included that I want to get done this week and then I'm gonna try to sell some of those knives to put towards you know a nicer model because there's some other ones that I really have my eye on and I think this might be included in that. So if you're watching this video and you think this is a cool knife and you you know you want you think you might want it, uh, send me a message on Instagram or comment down below um, that you'd be interested in it. Um, I'm probably gonna sell it for a decent price. Like I said, these come brand new for 55 bucks, um, and it's like new. I mean, there's a fresh edge on it, stuff like that. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of self advertising right now, but. Um, Bottom of the line is I think this is a great knife for 55 bucks. I think you're getting a lot of good materials, a lot of good form factors with it, and I just think it's a good value. Um, 
I know I keep repeating myself, but it just it stuck out to me that you're getting three deployment methods on a knife for 55 bucks, and I think that you know this will always be a knife that I recommend to people for different things. So I guess that'll be all for today, guys. Thank you for stopping in to check out this review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, drop them in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.